Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to the Nutrition Vixen YouTube channel. I'm a registered dietitian. For those of you who do not know or aren't following me and new to this channel, I just wanted to take a second today and kind of talk about this journey that I'm getting ready to go on. I am leaving on Monday to head out to Northern California. I'm going to be about 120 miles from the Oregon border in an area called Rudding, which is near Lake Shasta, Mount Shasta. As a contract, dietitian, as a private practice dietitian, I have a lot of opportunities. I have been fortunate enough to create a lot of these opportunities for myself. So whenever I find myself getting bored of whatever I'm doing, I, I have the ability to create a new pathway for myself, which is honestly one of my favorite things about choosing this career is because there are so many different avenues that I can pursue in order to make money and share my passion. Um, with the world, which is ultimately what this whole thing has been about for me becoming a dietitian. So anyway, I am going to be heading up to Northern California and I'm going to be up there for 10 weeks. I'm going to be living out of a hotel. I'm taking Dash. Come here, Dash. You want to come and say hi to everyone? So Dash and I are going to be heading up to Northern California and we're going to be living out of a hotel for 10 weeks potentially longer. It depends on if they want to extend the contract. So basically, I am going to document this journey and show you guys how you can eat healthy and still be active even when you have to travel. And um, maybe it's not even traveling. Maybe you're like having your home remodeled and 12 weeks to 16 weeks, you don't have access to the normal things like a kitchen um, that you would normally have. So maybe there's something like that that is the struggle that's keeping you back from being able to reach your goals. My goal with this whole vlog is going to be to show you how I am able to achieve a healthy lifestyle while being on the road, traveling, not being in my normal environment, and having to maintain a gluten-free, dairy-free diet due to um, my autoimmune kidney disease. I'm up for the challenge. I am going to have very limited resources in order to make this happen, so I'm going to get creative and show you guys how you can get creative when you are faced with the same circumstances. So I hope this journey is going to inspire you guys to either maybe start making a change if you haven't already or recommitting to yourself what you truly desire as the new year approaches. I am so excited to take you guys along with me for this 10 weeks and I hope that you're going to learn a lot. I'm going to be really transparent so you know this could go really good or this could go really bad. So we'll see. So stay tuned and um, I'll be back at you. Want to tell Aunt Heather anything so that she can watch the video when she's in California? You want to say anything to me? Uh, Heather. Yeah. You're really cool. So we are at our new home for the next three months. We got a little pool out over here, desk area, bathroom, closet, and then we've got like a kitchenette area. So not a ton, but we're gonna make it work. So this is gonna be home. Hello everybody. I just wanted to check in and say hi. I know I've been really, really busy trying to acclimate and get adjusted to this new role that I'm fulfilling. Lots and lots of responsibilities and stuff. So anyway, been working a lot and I'm gonna be working all weekend. So um, I officially got here on Monday and I am all settled in. Got Dash with me. He's been going to work and really loving it. We are gonna have a pampering Friday night. I just got a 
Oh, where's it at? I just got my yoga mat delivered and we just got back from Trader Joe's. So I'll show you what I picked up, but I also ordered some like little things for my face and around my mouth because my skin is just so dry from all of the deployments that I've been jumping from. So anyway, let me show you what we picked up at Trader Joe's today. So hold on. Here's our new little place. Okay, so this is the kitchen I am working with. I've got myself a microwave. I've got a two burner range. I brought my Vitamix with me, coffee pot, sink, dishwasher and then we just got back from Trader Joe's so I picked up a lot of the essentials almond milk lemons limes goat cheese picked up a little like indulgence for my coffee in the morning since it is the holidays got a couple of different types of salsa tomatoes eggs hard-boiled eggs the other day right away when I got here so that I could um, have a quick snack in the event I needed something gluten-free bread for avocado toast spinach my microgreens I've got a squash in here that I'm gonna do with some ground turkey and then I've been kind of eating off this all week it was a taco mixture and I've been using the spinach to alternate between salads and using the uh, white corn tortillas. I think that's pretty much it. So I've been doing avocado toast in the morning and then shakes for lunch. I picked up some essential seasonings. Just picked this up from Trader Joe's. I'm PMSing so I knew I needed to have something in the event that a sugar craving striked. Got some coffee, my Vega One Protein, some Himalayan sea salt, all the good stuff, all the essentials as far as I'm concerned. I got some coconut aminos, olive oil, vinegars, and then some frozen strawberries for my smoothies. I picked up this cauliflower frozen mash that I'm gonna give a try with some of these fish. I got ground flaxseed and chia seed. And of course, Tito's vodka for a little relaxing with some water and fresh squeezed lemon or lime. And then I got some rice cakes. Okay, so here's the deal. I know this is obsessive, but these pumpkin seed tortilla chips are like the bomb. And I found them at the store. It was a special purchase. I know they're not gonna carry more. And I am absolutely obsessed with them. So I bought them out. I bought all three bags. And then I've got my collagen, some jerky, and then a few canned goods, um, quinoa. So nothing too special, just, you know, what I consider the basics. Oh, I've got some rolled oats up there so I can do some overnight oats with the chia seed, vanilla, and whatnot. And then I've got my dishwasher. That's what's going on over here. So hope everyone has a fabulous evening and thanks for the little tour of my studio apartment at the hotel for the next three months. You would be shocked at how many people are here and more importantly, how many dogs are here. All right, love you guys. Bye. Audio jungle.